Let's give it up for a 20-something loser. Are we all good? Hopefully, maybe. Yeah, hello. Um, my name is Lee. I go by a 20 something loser online. Um, my pronouns are she, her, and I have a cult of the lamb marriage run for you all here today. I'm also joined with, I'll let you introduce yourself. <laughs> oh, lovely. Hi, this uh, faceless voice has a name. Her name is OK Nia or just Nia if you want to Call me something shorter. Um, I will be joining a 20-something loser or Lee as her uh, commentator today. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and hop right into this run here. Um, and time will start as soon as I hit new save. And then we'll talk about how cool Cult of the Lamb is. So here we are. So three, two, one, new save. Um. Cult of the Lamb is it a very adorable roguelike game. Here is the intro to it. Praise the Lamb, can do it to great power. Promise liberator of the one who waits below. That sacrificial beast, take heed, for a crown cannot sit upon two brows. Here is where we take control of our adorable little lamb. However, at the current moment, we are shackled. Um, and making our way to be sacrificed. So if that's not really your vibe, maybe look away for the next couple of 30 seconds to a minute. Uh, but we are about to come before four bishops um, and they are going to sacrifice us. I like how they just leave the skeletons on the walkway. Yep, they, it's just, why clean up after yourself? <laughs> so many sacrifices now very sad we've been sacrificed but don't worry you know that's not the end of the game that would kind of be horrible um we are still alive and we are about to come in front of the one who waits um the one who waits is someone who is shackled here um and was a previous bishop but has now been uh kind of stuck here in this in-between area um the one who waits essentially says to us, hey, I'll give you life again, but as long as you start a cult up in my name. Um, and so that's what we're gonna do in order to uh, gain life back again with this lovely little crown. And here's where we gain actual control of our character. So this is still the tutorial section of Cult of the Lamb. We are just going to make our way through this area as fast as possible. And as you're just started, ignoring this is everything. a roguelike game. One second, my headphones came out. And that right there is Ratau. Uh, Ratau is our guide. He was another vessel, but he uh, failed in his mission. And so uh, he is instead now our guide. And like most roguelike games, you are making your way through a series of levels as fast as possible, um, with ideally for us as little as little combat as possible. Um, but of course, um, who knows? We have RNG to deal with. Um, in this stage here, we're about to gain our very first follower. Oh, it's a little it's cow. <laughs> Our very first follower is going to be the one that we end up marrying, which is um, just because we will earn the most amount of faith or friendship points with that character. So again, we are going to rescue our adorable little aunt, adorable cow here um, and send them back to our cult. Ratau is also the NPC who you would be going up against for the Knuckle Bones uh, match, right? Yes, that would be Ratau. Our guide is the one that we would also be 
versing against. <laughs> that donation is still open, so you know. Donations um, we, are still open for it, so don't forget to uh, include include the uh, incentive when you put in your donations. Sorry. <laughs> but you chose easy for this run. Yes. So this is an easy marriage percentage um, because there are different difficulties within a uh, cult of the Lamb. I choose easy just because that's the style that I play with. And it makes it faster. <laughs> um, so currently all that we're doing is just gathering resources as fast as possible um, because we are going to build a little um, cooking area. We're also gonna grab ourselves two things of berries to make ourselves a little stew. As I'm doing that, Gabby, if you have any donations, feel free. Oh boy, do I have some donations. I have $25 from BZ Archer that says, remember, it's not a cult, it's a family. I also have $5 from Anonymous with no comment, but thank you so much for your generosity. Every little bit helps, and every little bit counts, especially when it comes to Malala Fun, so thank you. That is true. We are headed over to an area called Darkwood. This is one of the four biomes that we will get the chance to look at. Um, we will not be going into any other biome, only the first biome. So if you have not played the game, don't worry. There's no big major spoilers here. Um, but we will be making our way all the way through this entirety of the biome and defeating the final boss in this level. We uh, actually gain real, like this is where it becomes like real, real, um, where we gain our hearts. And so uh, we are now just gonna make our way through as many levels as possible because the goal just we are tilt still, technically, uh, in the middle of the tutorial. Um, so we are just trying to gain as much gold as possible, as well as just make our way through uh, to the very end. I like how at the uh, beginning of this game, you were able to just ignore all of the baddies in the beginning. Um, yep. <laughs> and now you're just locked into a room with all of your problems. Yes. This is Leshy. Uh, he makes his presence known for the very first time here, essentially saying, hey, I thought you were dead. What are you still doing here? <laughs> um, and we are pretty much going to skip the majority of the rewards, um, except for any time uh, there is a gift. So anytime there is a necklace or another type of gift, we will pick that up. But anything else we are going to skip as much as possible because it is just a time loss and we don't need it. Um, How are you, you able to identify a gift versus anything else? Um, it'll just be, so like the little scrolls itself are not, um, those are not gifts, those are different like furniture items or different like follower skins. Um, so we want to avoid anything that looks like a scroll. Anything that looks like a necklace is something that we want. Here is the first miniature boss. This is Amducius. Uh, we will essentially defeat them in a series wow. of clicks. <laughs> Um, because this is easy mode, you can essentially just click really fast and then uh, that round is done. So we gain as much coins as possible. Amducius will now become one of our followers. And we have defeated the first level of Darkwood. And we will return to our cult where Retu will give us some more information. Just another day of cleansing the non-believers. Exactly. Tao telling us that we have another fo follower. Despair. We will skip through all of the renaming conventions because unfortunately we cannot do that. And we will have them collect stone. Alrighty. 
happy. So what we will now do is we will build a shrine. This shrine will collect devotion, which also allows for um, various different bonuses to be unlocked. Um, Ritao additionally gives us an extra um, follower because this follower is now going to be uh, devoted to worship and collecting devotion for us. How have I not noticed that we all get matching t-shirts when we join a cult? That is true. We all get matching red t-shirts. They're pretty stylish, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Never have to coordinate outfits. Already done. That's true. It is already done. Alrighty, we need a little bit more wood here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly chop a little bit of wood. And we should be all good to build our shrine. We build our, sh pardon me, not shrine. This is our temple. Um, but we want to build our temple as fast as possible because we are going to be using our temple a lot throughout this run. So, good. so we are going to make our very first sermon here. Our sermon will actually increase the faith of our followers here. And it also gives us extra power-ups as well. So what we get with this one, this is Hearts of the Faithful, and it gives us half of a heart. Oh. And there we are. Ratao is now going to give us another task. And that task is to collect some commandment stone fragments. So we are going to be collecting three sets of those commandment stone fragments throughout this run because we're going to make three different doctrines. So these commandment stone fragments are used to make the doctrines um, and it's essentially like laws that your cult has to follow. Let me know when I can seek in with a donation or two. Feel free. We just have Leshy again, so hop on in. I have $10 from Jake the Science Guy that says, very excited to join the loser cult. I heard it's actually led by a winner. Well, this one's led by a lamb. Um, <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> we also have $10 from Shovel Claws that says, hello followers, hope you've all enjoyed the marathon. Lamb is a wonderful game and Marriage Percent is a very wholesome run. Good luck, Lee. I also really quickly wanted to give you all an update on the Knuckle Bones match. We are nearly halfway there with $445 out of $1,000, which is great progress. But honestly, I think we can make it. I believe so as well. So like Knuckle 200 Bones more really dollars cool. by the end of this That's little true. biome run. I think we can do it. Alrighty, so we're going to choose the shortest path here. We don't need any more resources, so we're just essentially scooting on by. Here is where we'll collect the commandment stones for the very first time, so this is Harrow. Um, Harrow pops up multiple times throughout Health of the Lamb, um, essentially to either give you advice or uh, different options. See, did we go the right way? By the looks of it, we did. We are truly out of luck with these chests here. They keep popping up with some fighters. We do get some extra life still, and we'll take that. Um, you might notice throughout the different levels that there will be um, different pathways that are marked with stars or moons along the edges. Um, and that is for a character called Clawneck. Clawneck gives you access throughout the run um, to tarot cards. Um, and tarot cards give uh, certain bonuses. So as you can see, there's one up here at the top. We're going to try and avoid um, seeing Clawneck as much as possible. But obviously sometimes that there's times where it's unavoidable. Here is another little miniature boss. We have Valifar.
So I know the first weapon is the same, no matter what th what playthrough you're doing. What about the second weapon? Is it always the axe? Um, that is a good question. I think so. Um, could not be entirely sure, but I believe it is the axe. They give you the sword first, and then they give you the axe. And then I think the little dagger comes next. Um, additionally, if you see here, at the end of each little miniature level, you also get a piece of the commandment stone, that fragment, um, which is really helpful for us, which is why we end up defeating Leshy as well. But of course, we have to uh, talk to the one who waits once again. We will stop by to see him multiple times throughout this run, which is quite fun. So now we have that doctrine. If you look in the top right corner of my screen, the there's a day system. Um, so essentially, you can only make one official commandment or doctrine um, per day cycle. Um, so essentially, we want to complete each doctrine as fast as possible. So for this first one, we wanted to make sure that we get it done on day one. We will add, we will add Valifar into our cult. They can do whatever they choose. We'll have them worship just for fun. And we will now head back into Darkwood to collect as many bones as we can. Alright, so how do we get bones? Murder. <laughs> mm, you know, I thought it might be that. Um, so, so after we kill some of these enemies, their skeletons will uh, remain. Um, and at the end of the run, there'll be essentially like a big pot where all their bodies will turn into bones. <laughs> um, additionally, you could see body bags throughout. Um, and so we want to try and destroy those um, because if we just have open, open body slang, they'll give us extra bones. Here we have Leshy, Hecate, and Calamar, all three bishops, um, except for the last one, which is Shimura, who's not here. I have some very exciting news. Yeah. What's that? We have jumped up an impressive amount towards the Knucklebone match. We are now at $745 oh. out of $1,000. Oh Heck Thank yeah. you all so much for your generosity. That is absolutely amazing. Keep it up, everybody. You're doing great. Y'all really want to see Knucklebones. Knucklebones is pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. Can I uh, toss in a donation or two while you're fighting? Feel oh, yeah. free. Heck yeah. Alrighty, I have $5 from CC that says, can we get a $5 click add incentives, click Cult of the Lamb Knucklebones match, click add train, which is a great way to lay out how to add the cult, uh, add the uh, Knucklebones match as an incentive to your donations. That would be awesome. Looks like you got that flower necklace too. We did! So we have one gift already, which is great. We can do this run without gifts, but ideally, gifts kind of speed things up a little bit for us. Um, I did choose an area to go down where instead of gold, the chests will actually drop food for us, which won't necessarily really matter. Alrighty, we'll take that way. That actually gave us some extra health instead of, this is Claw Neck, we're gonna avoid him real fast. Um, they gave us some extra health instead of some weapon or any enemies here. I will take the health, always. And we will take that. Do you have a preferred curse? A preferred curse? Ooh. Yeah. Um, I prefer anything that explodes. 
<laughs> Ooh. Um, so any of, there's like a frozen explosion one, I believe, and there's also just like a general explosion. The poison ones are really nice too. Um, we'll take a look more at the extra curses here in a second. Mainly at some of the bosses. They're most useful during uh, the larger boss fights, for myself at least. Um, about halfway there on bones. Yes. So in total for bones, we are gonna need a total of 100 bones in order to complete this run. We just need 25 for the first doctrine that we'll complete. The curse that we have here is the little tentacles that pop up, which is really cool. Super cool. We don't have to worry too much about health here because it doesn't do too much damage as well. And there is Barbados. <laughs> we'll take berries because it doesn't really matter what we get. There is another piece of our commandments completed. And we will head back to our cult. There's that cute little flower necklace. Where did that fish come from? Um, there was a separate passageway that we could go down um, that instead of getting gold, we got food or fish. <laughs> we won't be doing any more cooking in this game, so it's essentially not necessary, but it's a fun bonus. We are it's back nice to have. Heather. It is nice to have. Uh, we are going to go ahead and complete our very first ritual. Um, after completing this ritual, it'll then let us make new doctrines. Oh. There we go. So we're going to exit out of here. Red Cow is now going to show us how to increase the faith of our cult members through gifts and through friendship. He's also gonna show us his house, which is where you can play knuckle bones in the lovely shack. Not lovely shack, the lonely shack. Before, lonely can be lovely, it's okay. <laughs> that is true. Uh, we will be headed over to um, Ratao's shack um, in order to collect something from his house. You can additionally also only make one sermon per day, and sermons help to increase the faith of each of your cult members as well. So that is what we are gonna do. We are gonna gain some Bane weapons, which has a chance of poisoning enemies, mainly because I prefer poisoning rather than the other option. <laughs> and the poison weapons are cool. And additionally, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna find our little cow. What we're gonna do is we're gonna give them a blessing. So giving them a blessing also helps to increase their faith with you. Um, and then we're gonna give them that necklace. So by leveling up their faith to the next level, they're gonna give us a commandment stone fragment. So now we have the next doctrine already. Um, before we make that next uh, doctrine, what we're gonna do is we're going to give blessings to all of our uh, cult followers. So Gabby, as we do that, feel free to hit us with some donations if you got them. Heck yeah, absolutely. Let's see. I've got $25 from the Valiant Sun who says, so excited to see you zooming so fast. Thanks for bringing on the best commentator, Nia. And thank you to FF for giving us the lovely Gabby on hosting duty. Three of my favorite people and y'all are amazing. I love you guys, less than three. So. And just an update on that incentive, we are so very close to getting that knuckle bones match. We are about $125 short. We are at 875 out of $1,000. We are so close, everybody. 
I believe in you, chat. I know that you can do this. Do we still have time for donations? We do. We're still. Oh, you're so meditating. <laughs> we're meditating. So we're trying to skip time so that I can make that next uh, doctrine. So feel free. Keep going. You got it. I've got $5 from Big Scare that says every little bit helps. Putting this towards the knuckle bones incentive. Thank you so much for your generosity. I also have $5 from Kelvy that says Cult of the Lamb was my favorite game last year. It's so fun to see someone who is much better at it than I am speed through it. <laughs> <laughs> so we are making our second uh, doctrine here. Um, the marriage doctrine can be found underneath the law and order section. And it is the second uh, doctrine that you can make under there. Oh, guess what? what? We made the incentive. We got it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you all so much for oh your generosity. Goodness. That is absolutely amazing. That is another thousand dollars put towards Malala Fund and their awesome, awesome um, work that they do. Thank you all so, so much. That is absolutely amazing. So this is Ritao's house. Uh, that is where you can play Knuckle Bone. Um, in his house there, all that I did was I grabbed a large gift that is in the back um, for some extra faith items. We are going to now head on to the next level, which at the end of this level, we will be defeating Leshi, which so is so far, one of the bishops. <laughs> in this run, I've learned how to murder and how to steal. Yes. Is that right? Uh, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Those are the va the values that Cult of the Lamb gives off. We have a poison weapon here, which is super fun. And again, we will be trying to get a total of 75 bones. Because those bones um, are needed for the actual marriage ceremony. I have no idea what bones have to do with marriage, but you know, that's just the way that the game works. And once again, well, she is going to make his presence known. God, well, she he's get mad. over yourself. He's mad that <laughs> His enemies aren't giving me any problems currently. <laughs> and boom. We're getting close. We need about 10 more bones. Wait, Let me know when I can cut in with some donations. Feel free. We're just scooting along. I have $15 from Princess Shortcake, which has no comment, but is very much appreciated. Thank you so much. We also have $25 from Katie Chu that says, had to donate during my favorite game. Shout out to my bestie Lauren, who is watching with me and good luck to the runners. Let's get that knuckle bones incentive. And we did, which is absolutely amazing. But I do want to point your direction, uh, point to your attention chat we do have another fabulous incentive open and ready to go for the next run stray we can take the little cowboy cat nap so if you are so inclined you should definitely put all of your donations towards that incentive it is um the last run of the night stray so it would be great to see that happen as well uh, we are now talking to the fisherman uh, did you know you could also fish in Call to the Lamb? It's not just all fighting. You can actually fish in this game, which is one of my favorite mechanics. Uh, however, we will not be fishing, <laughs> which is rather unfortunate. Wait, he and had a mustache in, like, where a person's mouth would be, but fish lives yep. at the top of his head. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Precise. <laughs> the fisherman right. is a great character. <laughs> I never noticed that before. That's kind of terrifying. A little bit. I saw his, like, the fish lips flapping, and I was like, what's happening right now? 
Um, that's where you could also get upgraded weapons. We're gonna stick with our poison axe here. Um, so I prefer it over some of the other ones. Actually, we will take this weapon instead, which is another poison-based one. Um, I don't wanna go this way. No, thank you. Oh, we wanna go the other way. So as you can see, sometimes uh, the characters turn green and that means that they're poisoned. Through those doors is Lushy. So we'll be headed that way. Um, while Gabby was reading out donations, we did hit the number of bones that we needed. So we are all good on bones so far. Is it time? Is it and big all, boss time? It's big boss time. <laughs> So the followers of Leshy all uh, sacrifice themselves for him. And we just follow Leshy wherever he is. I particularly like to stand behind him and then just go to town. <laughs> and just Bam, click that weapon. <laughs> and then it's it over before works. you know it. It works. Um, after defeating Leshy here, you gain a heart of a heretic. Um, the heart is then used for uh, different clothing items that the lamb can wear, um, which gives you new bonuses. Um, as you can see here, we got another commandment stone. We do have to pick up one little squirrel. We won't pick up the other one, um, but it just won't let you through the doors if you don't pick that one up. Smashed it. Then we have to go back to the one who waits. So if you notice, at the end of the Leshy fight, the shackles of the door was released. Um, and this oh, removes a shackle from the one who waits. What is a shepherd without a flock? There's a lot of little philosophical things throughout uh, after each uh, boss fight as well. We show off that we killed Leshy. Everybody cheers. Everybody's happy for us. And now we sprint in here. We got to give our daily sermon. Today's sermon, how Lammy is a state of mind. That's true. Wow. And we then leave. We now have to talk to as many people as we can and give them blessings. <laughs> Ideally, we hit most of them at once. I think you got all of them at once. It seems like it. It's pretty helpful. We got a bonus commandment stone piece as well. Wow, that's pretty helpful. Well, now you're just showing off. I know, <laughs> just a little bit. Uh, so as you can see here, um, the commandments is on cooldown. So what we're gonna do um, is we're gonna meditate. So one of the cool things about Cult of Lamb that I would assume most people don't really use in casual gameplay is the meditation feature. If you meditate, um, my controls are a little bit backwards, uh, but on a Switch controller, I'm currently pressing Y, so it's uh, it'll speed up the time to meditate here as well. You can also ba, <laughs> which is cute. Press the ba. <laughs> can I get a donation in as you as you meditate the day away? Of course, yes. <laughs> I have twenty five dollars from Devin that says hi, Lee. Hi, Nia. Hi, Gabby. You are all cool, and I hope you all love yourselves as much as I love you, which is more than three. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, we're still on cooldown. Can I sneak in one more? Yep, you can sneak in one more. Feel free. I have $150 from Care Bear 21 that says, sitting here watching this run with my family. We played Cult of the Lamb together this year, and my seven-year-old daughter got to choose what to do with all of the unhappy followers. 
happy to donate to such a great cause. Oh, I love Incredible. that. Also, were most of them sacrificed? I'm curious. <laughs> I have sure. so many questions. Uh, we have just now unlocked the wedding doctrine. Um, which means that this run will end as soon as we um, kiss our follower. So we're going to go ahead and do that ritual. And then as soon as we kiss our follower, which in this case, we're going to kiss the cow. And Tim. Oh, you're dairied. Yeah. Dairied Neo. We're dairied. <laughs> <laughs> so that is time there. Um, and that is, yeah, marriage percentage in Cult of the Land. We, since we hit the knuckle bones percentage, we're going to head over to uh, Ritao's shack uh, and play ourselves a game of knuckle bones out here. Hooray! Thank you all again so much for all of, all of your donations towards Malala Fund. Um, knuckle bones is a dice-based game. Um, in which you are essentially matching dice um, within a couple of different columns here. So we play against Ritao here. He rolls first. When you play Knuckle Bones, do you play like your own game or do you go on the offensive? Um, I try and play on the offensive as much as possible. Try and get as much points as I possibly can. Um, with knuckle bones, additionally, if you can see, some of those are highlighted in yellow. Um, those give me double points. So if you have two or more in a column, it'll give you double points um, for pairs. And then like triple points for three of a kind. So for example, there you go. <laughs> Except... Ooh. If someone across the way um, happens to place that same number in the same column, oh, they'll no. get rid of your number. Ritao's That's coming okay. for you. <laughs> Ritao is being a little bit difficult to hear. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll get him back. Oh, hopefully. Ooh. We need some oh, high no. numbers here. To come back from this run. Ooh. Alrighty, there we go. Very nice. That'll very help nice. us out a bit. Now, Ooh. Uh, <laughs> man. It's just gonna be a back and forth <laughs> battle here. Oh, oh no. Wait. We won't. Oh. So Ritao won here. <laughs> That is essentially what knuckle bones is. <laughs> <laughs> that was um, rough. Good play, yeah. good play. That's how it is with knuckle bones. <laughs> sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and that's okay. Um, it's just the roll of the dice and RNG. Um, but the actual knuckle bones percentage within the Cult of Lamb speedrunning um, is you play against every single uh, possible character that you can. So it's Ritao plus, I believe, four other characters as well. Um, if you're interested at all in speedrunning Call to Lamb, um, there is a speedrunning section within the larger um, Call to Lamb or Massive Monster Discord, um, as well as uh, a, I don't know, that's, that's mainly it. It's within the Discord there. Um, I've been Lee. <laughs> My pronouns are she, her. I'm a big fan of friendship aspects within games. Um, so you may also see me running tomorrow, a Stardew Valley marriage percentage run. Who would have thought? <laughs> um, uh, and thank you all for having me. And thank you all so much for donating to see that uh, Knuckle Bones run. But
All right. Thank you again so much, Lee and Nia, for being such amazing runners and commentators and for showing us that knuckle bones run. That was absolutely awesome. I am going to read one donation here. I feel like it's a very special and important donation. We have $25 from Shooks Jat that says, Hello, since we're a big happy cult, we should make a choice together. Donation goes to Chat's Choice. I do believe that Chat has a, uh, a poll coming up soon. So we're going to go to a quick break and... Everybody hang in there and make your vote. What uh, do you want your $25 to go towards? Let us know in the poll. Hello, everybody, and welcome back from our little break. I have uh, another fun little uh, video for you all from the Yeti. Everybody hang on tight because the Yeti is one of our official sponsors for Frost Fatalis 2023. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Hello, everybody, and welcome back once again to Frost Fatales 2023. I am your host, Blackheart Wings, and I will be accompanying you into the end of this comfy, cozy night. Uh, we are setting up for our next run, which is Stray, run by Passer. I wanted to remind everybody that we do have an incentive for it, which is the Stray Cowboy Catnap. And while we're waiting, I'll be reading some donations. I have $25 from Pink that says, Loving these animal-themed runs and love supporting Malala Fun. When girls, women, and feminine-aligned people get better education, all genders and society wins. Let's make the world a better and also more fun place. Yes, absolutely. I could not agree more. Thank you so much for your generosity. I have $25 from Anonymous that just reads less than three. Thank you so much for your donation. I also have Marzipan Kitty with $10 that just reads meow. Very appropriate for our upcoming run. We have $25 from Merv120. That says, who can say no to a napping kitty? Donating for a great game and cat naps. Heck yeah, absolutely. We love to see some cat naps. We have $50 from Underscore with no comment, but thank you so much for your generosity. We really appreciate it. We also have $15 from Anonymous with no comment, but thank you so much for your generosity. We have $25 from Dragon Wren with no comment, but thank you so much for your donation. And if you're wondering, what else you can do with those fabulous uh, those fabulous dollars that you are sending towards charity? You can also put them towards any of the prizes. We have several awesome prizes that are themed according to the day. Uh, if you enjoy Cult of the Lamb, which was our last run, you can uh, you can put fifteen dollars towards maybe getting a Cult of the Lamb knit hat, which is super duper cute. It looks like I have an update on chat's choice for the donation incentive. It is going towards the stray cowboy catnip incentive, which is super awesome. Thank you, chat, so much for voting. It looks like it was a 65-35 split, but it's great to know that uh, the cowboy catnap will be the, your go-to. A little bit more about that incentive. There are lots of opportunities for naps and cuddles in Stray. In this one, we'll take a little break with a friendly cowpoke in Midtown. They'll be very happy for the cuddle. It looks like we'll have about an hour. Uh, that incentive will be closed about an hour into the run, but that means cool. that we have plenty of time. 
Cool. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be the absent. I'm not going to talk we about the event. We are at there five hundred. So I uh, just got home from a weekend for in Miamisburg, so Ohio, exciting. because there was you a swing dance weekend that was there, amazing and so I far. was doing photography. Doing great. And so I, I got to chat. basically take six thousand photos of the course happen. of three days, taking pictures of people doing what they love most, which is dancing, and it is one of my favorite things that I am very blessed to have the opportunity to have a, have a career in. And if I do say so myself, I am damn good at it, and so. So, uh, yeah, I just had a very exhausting but very, very good and fun weekend. So that was what I did. And then my husband just made me dinner. So I'm having a really good time right now. Um, Honestly, it's really simple. It's just like cooked chicken with we an over easy egg on top. And then I like just with no put comment, like honey mustard so over it. Your, it's just really good. For your donation. A charity that we are benefiting tonight. Malala Fund is working for a world where every girl can learn and lead. They believe local educators and activists are best suited to address the problems girls face in their communities. Malala Fund invests in their work and collective power to create change, hold leaders accountable, and give girls the tools they need to advocate for themselves. From supporting STEM education for young women in Pakistan, to creating safe learning spaces for girls in northern Nigeria, your gift today is an investment in Malala Fund programs that directly benefit girls. We would also like to thank the Japanese Restream per for providing an alternate language broadcast of Frost Vitals 2023. The Japanese, Re Japanese Restream is a community where people can enjoy various speedruns of uh, speedrun events held abroad in Japanese. They are broadcasting the event at Twitch TV, twitch.tv slash Japanese underscore Restream on a delay. Check out the schedule by doing exclamation point Restream in the chat. We would love for viewers to join their stream and support the event. We have a $5 donation from No Comment with a comment that reads Cat Game. Thank you so much for that donation. <laughs> that is absolutely incredible. And you know, if you've enjoyed Frost Fatales thus far today, you have so many more games to look forward to tomorrow. Uh, starting at 1 p.m. Eastern, uh, we will be leading tomorrow with a Malala Fund interview, and the first game of the day is Here Comes Nico by Naomi Plays. We also have Untitled Goose Game, Stardew Valley, Shepherd's Crossing. It's another animal-themed day, only this time it's a little less spooky. More comfy, I would say. So, if you're enjoying the, the stream today, come back tomorrow! You can check out the schedule at games done quick slash schedule or exclamation point schedule in the chat to check out any other upcoming games you might be enjoying and having fun with.
It's about Malala Fund. Alrighty, y'all. I'm going to lead you all over to um, a marvelous video about our our charity of choice for for this event, Malala Fund. Welcome back, Asamayi Nikram. Our program is Taaleem, our Buniyadi Hak. And in this regard, just by FM K Studios, our Mohtarma. उम्मे कलसुम सियाल साहिबा साइकोप की एग्जीक्यूटिव डायरेक्टर हैं। जी अफसर साहब हम हमारा यही मैसेज है और हम इस मैसेज को जो है ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोगों तक पहुंचाना चाहते हैं कि अपनी बच्चियों को जो है ना वो तालीम दिलवाएं और हम ये चाहते हैं कि हर बच्ची स्कूल में 12 साल तक रहे। Pakistan is very close to my heart. It is my home country. My activism started in in Pakistan and this is the country where I want to see every girl in school because I was once there and I could not get my education and many girls are still deprived of education there. When I meet the champions in Pakistan, it gives me hope. I can see these amazing people who are working in the most deprived and marginalized communities who are helping girls who may not be able to get any opportunity to complete their education if these activists are not there to support them. My name is Umeh Kalsum Sial and I am the executive director of the Psycho Organization. I am working with this organization with 1996. Our goal is just to uplift the vulnerable communities, to uplift them, to uplift them, to uplift them. Because the Muzaffar Ghar is a very far away area of South Punjab, and it is a deprived area. So that's why we have a lot of work on our education. We can work on our children's schools, 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 we can work on our children's schools. तो यहाँ पर क्या आपके यहाँ रिवाज है कि जब बच्ची प्रेमरी कर लेती है तो उसको स्कूलों में जाने देते हैं आगे? 30-40 साल पहले जब आप देखें कि इस इलाके में खवातीन का बाहर निकलना भी मायूस समझा जाता था। यहाँ मुजफ्फरगढ़ में खास तौर पर लोग गरीब हैं। यहाँ पर जो एक्सेस है स्कूलों की तरफ वो भी थोड़ा प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट करती है ज़्यादा दूर तक बच्चियों को नहीं जाने देते जब तक बच्ची तीसरी चौथी तक पढ़ती है तो वो अपने बहन भाइयों के साथ मिलके चली जाती है लेकिन जो ही बच्ची थोड़ा बड़ी होती है तो वो फिर माँ बाप जब उसको उठवा लेते हैं ड्रॉप आउट हो जाता है मलाला फंड के साथ हम एक प्रोजेक्ट कर रहे हैं सेकेंडरी एजुकेशन और उसकी क्वालिटी एजुकेशन के ऊपर हमने कुछ जो बच्चियाँ हैं एडवोकेट्स समझ लें हमने बनाई हैं खुद भी पढ़ रही हैं स्टूडेंट्स हैं वो सब बच्चियाँ और वो भी कोशिश करती हैं कि कोई बच्ची अगर ड्रॉप आउट है उनके जानने वालों में उनके इर्द-गिर्द में वो ना सिर्फ हमें इनफॉर्म करती हैं बल्कि वो खुद भी उनको मोटिवेट कर रही होती हैं। मेरे फादर की डेथ हो गई थी तो फिर अम्मी ने मुझे नहीं पढ़ने दिया तो उन्होंने कहा बस आप घर में ही रहो तो घर ही बैठ ले फिर मेरी एक दोस्त है दुआ फातमा उसने मेरी मम्मा से बात की तो फिर मेरी मम्मा ने मुझे स्कूल आने दिया। विमेन काउंसलर्स जो हमारे लोकल गवर्नमेंट के साथ अटैच हैं हमने उनको भी लोग में लिया हुआ है हम उनकी भी ट्रेनिंग करवाते हैं यही कोशिश है हमारी कि हम ग्रासरूट लेवल से लेकर जो हमारी डिमांड्स हैं उसको पॉलिसी लेवल तक पॉलिसी मेकर्स तक पहुंचा सकें अब मेरी कुछ तसल्ली हो जाती है इनके साथ काम करके मैं घर में भी जाती हूँ लोगों को समझाने के लिए कि स्कूल चाहे दूर सही लेकिन प्राइमरी स्कूल तक बच्चियों को लाश नहीं लाएं कोई नहीं कुछ सफर ही करना पड़ेगा ना लेकिन बच्चियों की तालीम बहुत जरूरी है लाला फंड उन्होंने एक अपॉर्चुनिटी जो है वो हमें दी है और हम सब ने उसे अवेल भी किया है ना सिर्फ हम जो चैंपियंस हैं अपनी कैपेसिटी बिल्ड करें बल्कि हम चैंपियंस जो है अपने अपने लेवल पर बैठ कर हम लोगों के साथ मिलकर उनके साथ मिलकर हम काम कर सकें बच्चों के एजुकेशन पे तो काफ़ी बच्चियां हमारे कहने पे स्कूलों में इनरोल भी हुई हैं लेकिन अभी भी बहुत काम करने की ज़रूरत है अगर अपॉर्चुनिटीज ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा मिले तो मैं समझती हूँ कि ज़्यादा हीरे जो है वो निकल कर आ सकते हैं
All right, everybody, welcome back once again to Frost Fatales 2023 Benefiting Malala Fund. In case you missed it, I'm Blackheart Wings, and I'll be your host for this next upcoming run of Stray. It's the last run of the, of the night, and you're not going to regret staying up for it, I promise. I have $5 from Chase that says, Been excited for Stray since I woke up this morning. Donating for my girlfriend's cat, Gigi. Every time I hear y'all say GG on the stream, I find myself looking for the little lady. Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. Please, if you have any stories about your cats, send in a donation so I can read them because that would be super duper wholesome. Thank you so much for your donation. Every little bit helps. I also wanted to give you all an update on the cowboy catnap incentive that we have open right now. It, we are at 765 out of $2,000, which is just shy of halfway. But I believe in you, chat. You guys are do you all are doing absolutely incredible. And I believe that we can make this incentive happen during the run. It looks like I have $25 from Nia, who was just on the couch, and it just and it reads less than three, y'all, and it actually says less than three. I promise. We have $50 from Venkelos that says, absolutely gotta get in here and help get a much needed nap. Always love donating to help Malala Fund do their amazing, important work. Thank you so much for your generosity. We really, really appreciate it. All right, and I'm getting word that we are ready to get started with the uh, with our final run of the night, Stray. So I'm going to hand you all over to Passer. Let's give it up 